Today's video starts and ends in a harbour, where you'll see me taste one of Scotland's delicacies. It's the Arbroath Smoky. But for now, let's go and check out the golf course. Right, a gorgeous morning. I'm at Arbroath Golf Club. It's just uh, a little bit up the road from where I'm staying in Carnoustie. And uh, I've asked to switch the camera on. I'm just playing the first. We're in for what will be a par putt. But the green complex on the first hole, if this is anything to go by, it looks absolutely stunning. First cut and the feed in, in terms of these um, little tiny swales and cambers, and then into a green which looks to be absolutely fantastic there's no excuses when you miss these I'll well, keep it rolling see if we can make a par on the first not quite but a great start and another course which I've no idea what to expect but we'll soon find out Early holes see the introduction of double pins, revetted bunkers, rolling fairways, immaculate aprons and railway lines. You're a volunteer and you help out in terms of the running yeah, of the club yeah. and cutting it. One of the volunteers, yeah, for yeah. the course, yeah. How many, how many do that, Steve? It's probably uh, between four and six, depending, right. yeah. So how many hours of your time do you have to give up to look after a course like this? Uh, a lot? Uh, uh, no, not a lot. <laughs> no. I, I, today it'll be about eight or nine hours. Really? Uh, and then maybe two or three another right. day, yeah, okay. if, if required. Wow. Well, the, the reason I just wanted to stop is just say thanks on behalf of the visitors, uh, all visitors that come to our Broth Golf Club, because uh, right. you're doing a great job and well, keep up the good work. I know Bill as well yeah, does, uh, does yeah. a bit. Bill, and, uh, Bill does as well, yeah. yeah. But I, I hope that they enjoy it. I yeah. think it's a very good course, yeah. a very fair course for visitors. And, you I, know, I, I, I just hope that people see this and come and try it. Yeah. That's what it's for. Well, hopefully they are. And yeah. We're doing our best to show it off with this video, but you're doing a great job right. anyway, so keep up keep up the hard work. Okay, then. Right. Nice to meet you, you, Steve. Right. Cheers, bud. Well, nice little par three, but I've missed it in the wrong place here. I picked up my wedge at first and thought it was a straightforward chip up the green, and then I've just realised there's a right kind of nub, I think you'd call it, on the back of this bunker, which makes this almost impossible. Sit. Ah, uh, do you know what? That's probably not the best I could have done with my ability. You know, that's, that's seriously, four holes in, one after the other. Superb. I gotta say, Steve's passionate plea was heartwarming. The efforts from him and fellow artisans should be applauded, and perhaps appreciated even more so during these current challenges. amazing how much hard work's going in from all the people that are yeah, working here. Yeah, yeah. Good to see, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Well, it didn't happen at every club. No, I know, no, that's what I say. No, 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 a, a lot of guys just expect to go on a golf course and be everything perfect for them, and it's not, is it? Fantastic long green, par three, seventh hole. Um, I think we've just said there must be 30 yards from front to back. Um, and that flag is right at the very back. We're in the heart of it. What was the line, Bill? Was it off the right? Yeah. 
Bill's just nearly old his putt, which um, I didn't get on camera, I'm afraid, but he certainly got the line. Nah, it's not a bad roll. Not as good as Bill's, but uh, we'll take two putt from there. So we're at the far end of the course, hole eight. It's actually called Curry End. Um, we're going to make our way back down towards the clubhouse. It's one of those, uh, again, sort of uh, those traditional, like nine out, nine in. Effectively, we just played seven out. Uh, so whatever which way the wind is blowing, and at this point, we've played seven holes directly into the wind. Hopefully, we get a help on the way home. Uh, we've got the obligatory railway now running down that right hand side. It was a real interesting uh, first seven holes and again I've done a lot of talking through those but hopefully you've got the picture where there's a lot of variation which was really interesting. I mentioned early doors about the, the aprons, the runnings and the condition of the greens which was fantastic as well. But the biggest thing I would pick up on like I said at Arbroath was the variation in all those holes. Really interesting and again plot your way around. It was uh, it played fairly long those seven holes into the, uh, what well, did for me anyway, into that breeze today. So we'll see how we get on the way back. This is stroke index five, par four. I always talk about runoffs when I play at Lynx Golf and I'm sorry but it's, uh, it's a massive feature and it is again here at Arbroath and this is one of the more severe ones right back bumping up the hill get up ball, get up ball get down ball, get down ball and it hasn't, it's just stayed there but it literally runs all the way up the slope and then that just needed a little bit more and trust me, it would have been it's still moving now straight back down to the hole but it's a massive feature of the course and again a huge green loads of slopes loads of runoffs virtually all the way around it so wherever you miss it it's that uh, it's that link short game you're going to need there's a nice little chip up bill is that is that the shot you've got a master on these courses do you think yeah, yeah? Links, yeah i think so i mean i just said there we had the ball going in the air that I, uh, the wedge over the bunker looked good in the air and then well it's fed off and r right. ran away I think it's always a case of now downwind, trying to get this ball to stop on that firm green. No, it's not easy, is it? No, it's not easy. Not for the average. Not for the average golfer. That's, that's yeah. right. I've just demonstrated that. Yeah. But it's all about, again, is uh, I always think, and anyway, I always say on the videos, how it's a different art form, well, learning how to play Lynx golf. Yeah, it's, it's so different, isn't it? It's completely different. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's, all the golf I play is Lynx golf. Right. And um, when I go into an inland course, it's different again isn't it again. yeah yeah. Again. yeah i i, I think link my, my own personal thoughts are links is a lot more difficult and, a, and a, well it's certainly a different skill set required do you think it is yeah just because of all the humps and bumps on yeah the, on the course itself and then when you get onto the the greens with the hollows and yeah but well, that i think again for me that's the appeal i love that of yeah. trying to sort of weave your way yeah, through it all and yeah. find that way to the hole that's right yeah that, that's the hard bit and i'm off the back again <laughs> Yep, right through the back, what looked good in the air. And now we've got putter in hand, but it's all the way back up the hill. Yeah, not bad, not bad. They've still got a tricky one for four. And a little bit bold at that. Oh, just about that there.
I'd been staying all week in the Carnoustie Hotel and although not playing the Championship Links, it was the perfect location to access the abundance of nearby golf. But I have to say that view down 18 every morning has me itching to return. Well, we spoke to the, the, the guy earlier again who's, uh, and yourself, I think you help out keeping fairways and rough and burns That's and whatever correct. tidied yeah. up, yeah. We've, we've got a cohort of maybe six, six or eight volunteers yeah. to keep it in place. How much do you think that has a positive impact on the club in the kind of membership, the, the, the camaraderie amongst the members? It's a good thing, do you think? Uh, it helps. Yeah. But you, you never stop the yeah. moaning. No, no, I'm sure not. <laughs> that's every golf, really. It? No, gonna that's never going to change. Nothing. Whatever you do, don't come up short on 13. That is one of the most severe slopes I've seen. I've just been talking about slopes and runoffs. I want to put it, chip it. We're going with the putter. Get up, ball. Get up, and then it runs off away. Oh, do you know what? I'm still probably a mile away from the hole. That's incredible straight up that hill. That's some slope, that bill, isn't it? <laughs> Don't come up short. Don't want to be short on this one. No. Ah. Would have been a good two pot from down there. A great little par three again, back into what looks like to be a bit of a basin green. I can only see half the flag. Back into the breeze as well. Oh, that's not a very good shot, but will it work? No, straight into the front bunker. I, I've had a few blips. I'm praying that I can get one uh, decent drive down that left-hand side. Don't leak it out left, uh, right hand. Yeah, it's a decent ball. I didn't want it to cut any more than that. And uh, half decent to finish that one, Bill. Concentrated. Great finish, Bill. Up birdie. Thank you for the round. I don't know what we do. We kind of like do that nowadays, don't we? And uh, finish that way. It was a pleasure. Right, well, that's the game finish at Arbroath. And uh, as ever, hopefully we've done it justice and uh, you've got the gist of this place. I've talked about the green fee, which I'm not going to relay the number because I want to make sure that's accurate. All I will say is it offers incredibly good value on this coastline. And uh, for that kind of condition, for the money they're charging green fee wise, then it's certainly worth a stop off. And hopefully you've, uh, you've seen that from what we've done. But my next stop off is I can't come to Arbroath and not try Arbroath Smokies, which I believe is smoked haddock. So uh, it's over to the harbour and uh, we'll taste a bit of fish instead of whiskey this week. How are you doing? You okay there? Yeah. I just I, I'll go with smokies. I'd want to try them. How do I order them? And what do they sort of come in? How do we? Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's try that. Perfect. The moment of truth. And I hope I've got no bones left in that. Do you know what? In all honesty, I was dreading tasting it from the looks of it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And what it isn't, it's not overly smoky, which is what I was expecting it to be and why I might not liked it. But it's not like that at all.
Now this isn't a food channel and obviously you don't want my opinion on a description of how this fish is, but trust me, it is very nice indeed. It's really moist fish. You're laughing behind the camera because you know I was dreading in a way tasting. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'll let you taste some now. Not smoky one bit. Our both has got damn good golf course and our both, our both smokies. A nice bit of fish as well. See in episode two. I think we've just got a bone. <laughs>